was everybody with another YouTube video and so here we are international now and worldwide syndicated is where it's at. Another wrecked collaboration video. Courtesy of you know where it's at. I've been doing this for weeks on weeks on weeks on in because there's still one last stench I need to get rid of before we could finally Put this whole baby away and you won't find any of this sort of content outside of the crypto muscle network and the crypto muscle legacy all right this is where it's at there's where you find and grind platforms make it and take it put it in our wallets that's what it's all about right here all right so come on board the crypto muscle train we go ride to the top together space mountain baby all right, and uh, all I got to say is if you want entertainment, you want real news, I bring the reality, all right, the real in reality. So this is where it's at. I'm a loose cannon. I'm a crypto outlaw in this space. This is what we do. Subscribe to everything I got, my Telegram channel, all that stuff too. Let's just get started, all right, because we're still working on trying to get rid of this last stench of the blood's past. And then that way, we could finally, you know, put a put a nail in a coffin for good, and get the shit out of here. All right, the money tree trash. All right, and the only reason why this thing still lingers in stench and odor is because, you know, that no good piece of shit, Tiwi, who blatantly stole from every one of you that went into this money tree. I don't know why anybody would have went into this thing in the first place. Alright, I mean, it was, this was already dead on arrival, DOA, when this thing first launched. Alright, and uh, he launched this thing and only lasted, what, four months? I mean, it's not bad, four months, but at the same time, it was DOA because he was scheming and looking for an out. All these years of being a fail in crypto, being a blood with all his little buddies, right? those token platforms and all the you know tomfoolery that they were so full of shit with as every one of them started to just kind of get picked off and leave the space it left Tiwi hanging and so it made him desperate because every year he failed in his quest to make a uh -huh, I want to make 100k this year he would always say that I'm going to make 100k this year and never happen because one I mean the stuff that he was doing I mean it was so easy to see that I just call that shit out all the time no you're not gonna make shit <laughs> based on what you're trying to do you're not gonna make shit and then to the point where he proposed making this in a platform the year before this particular year here and this was back in 2020 2021 comes around all right, he makes this uh, platform in the summertime, and uh, it was like August, and then ran it through till December, and he was scheming the whole time, because all he cared about was, I got to get this money, desperate to steal all that money, 100k, all right, and that's what he did, he stole that money, then he tries to weasel it off. To saying, uh, oh yeah, you know, it's just uh, bad trading, whatever he said that he was trying to do in a lever style. For an amateur, all you dummies out there that went into this and, you know, relied on amateur trading from a known loser in the space. And I said that plenty of times that he even talked about, he documented himself saying that, that his trading is not really up to par. That I mean, it's so obvious. So if you're going to use an amateur trader at best to help you earn off of this smart contract where you put in your BNB, man, you guys really fucked yourselves over. <laughs> now, so part of it is you guys. So I think part of it is you, you guys should blame yourselves for putting all you guys in this predicament of him taking that money from you. But anyhow, he parlayed 
saying that he was going to have Drip rescue him in terms of using the animal farm to help him bail out his situation of, you know, messing up on his trading, which he obviously didn't do. I mean, e I mean, either way, he was a loser at trading. And then even if he did trade and wiped it out, all right, the thing about it is, is that he was a terrible trader too. Just like Clover was a terrible trader. And he was a head trader on one of those, on um, Moonberg. All right, when they were trying to do copy trading. And you guys were really going to have Clover do trading for you on Moonberg. Back in the, you guys are a bunch of idiots out there. If you guys follow these losers, and that's why these losers are no longer here. All right, so when we look at what's going on, so he, so this loser, Tiwi, tries to parlay using, you know, Drip Animal Farm to rescue him. And the, the story goes is that, well, it brought my attention to Drip, an animal farm. And I started to watch this thing, and I realized, man, this is trash. Just as bad as bankroll. <laughs> bankroll was trash, too. I mean, the, all this stuff was terrible. And all these guys out there, all they're doing is wallet stacking. All day long, wallet stacking. All these people to, to screw and, and, and just destroy... A fine, a fine working operation as good as Drip can be. It's not now, but it can be. It will no longer will be. Is that this wallet stacking stuff that these guys do needs to stop. <laughs> That's the problem. That's the biggest problem with bankroll back then. That's the biggest problem with, the, with Drip now. Is all this wallet stacking crap. And then you wonder why the, the minting of supply gets bigger. And you wonder why, uh, you know, the value of it is so low and all these maxed out wallets all the time. I wonder what's the count on maxed out wallets and how many times you open up another one again. And then you open up another one again. And then you have your buddy open up another one to you. And then you open up another one to your buddy. And you keep stacking it in a pyramid style, right? You could be like Clover and all those dumbasses back in the days spending hours just withdrawing from each wallet. It made you guys feel so good, man. Oh man, I spent like an hour, you know, two hours pulling pulling all my earnings out of each wallet. How's that going for you? When you have a, a coin that's really, you know, a token going down to zero pretty soon. And, you know, you think I'll hit $10 again? No. <laughs> Drip will never go to $10 again. All right. Uh, let's see. This is the past day now. You know, after a little bit of uh, news and announcement, it kind of creates a little bit of a pump, right? And then what happens? <laughs> it fizzles out, right? Let's see here. What are we doing now? What is going on with Drip? Let's see. It's supposed to be Drip Drop Draw. Uh, let's see. Man, a week ago. All right. It was supposed to be over a week ago. And then they promised on Tuesday. Then they promised on Thursday. And it just, you know, it just keeps going and going, right? We're spinning in circles all day long. We spinning in circles. Keep on going and going. So, wait a second. The new UI launched, let me get this straight. Let's see. Three weeks ago. Because the week before this past one was supposed to be the new Drip Drop Draw release, right? It's supposed to be on the Thursday, but it was supposed to be the Tuesday, <laughs> and then, yeah, oh, we started to do some more testing and stuff, so they were kind of aiming for Thursday, the week before, all right, so, all right, let me, let me get you guys a visual, because I know you guys are idiots, so, this week, so, all right, drip, drop, draw, I mean, sorry, let me step back, new UI came out Thursday the 1st. This particular week, he wanted to separate Drip Drop Draw on Tuesday to not confuse and, you know, create a whatever on Thursday, the prior. So, it's supposed to be Tuesday. Tuesday rolls around, and they're not quite ready yet, but they're going to make an announcement and do some further testing. Thursday rolls around, crickets, right? And come to find out, oh, wait a second, we're not ready yet. We're still doing testing and all that. And then it comes this particular week, right? This last past week. 
time went on, and it's like, oh, wait a second, there's <laughs> nothing, there, uh, there's nothing. All right, and so let's see here. We're going to see what was the latest news this past week that he said. All right, so the 12th comes. Happy Monday. We're still adding the final touches. We won't deliver anything less than perfection. All right, keep doing this uh, buy and burn contest. All right, and that's what created this uh, sort of pump for the past week. And then by Friday... We've made a, a ton of progress. Everyone must realize Triple D was not built by me. It was given to me as a half-baked concept. After test, we had 1,900 lines of code and all these technical issues. All of a sudden, man, they're supposed to, uh, what, what was this talk? Oh, man, we're going to release the drip drop draw, and we're going to do the UI on the same day. Oh, I could have fixed the technical bugs and delivered a working project with issues and all that, but instead I brought in two additional developers to get the job done right. And I had a lot of pressure from the start to count down and rush to get everything done before it hits zero, but I refused to start the countdown and I then have to delay. Well, you already delayed because you made the announcement and you've delayed it now and it's a week and a half later. <laughs> All right, so you didn't have to do the countdown yet You've already delayed it because you already put it out there that you were going to do it at a certain time and then it didn't happen. Today we plan to do a full test with the DAO members and run full rounds on a chain link integration. If these tests go well, it will be left to do is prep launch and start the countdown. Drip, drop, draw, and drip were development processes that were not fully built in-house and were using old dev management style. <laughs> and he hired other devs to finish it. Uh, drip drop draw went from a half bay idea to a product that will stand the test of time. It's not going to stand shit. Uh, while we're waiting, the Triple D, the Animal Farm dev team has been crushing it. In 10 days, the full V3 migration will be ready to go. Dog Pound NFT solution is ready and tested. As soon as we get Triple D out, we will be prepared for a major Animal Farm update. Yeah, because Animal Farm is trash. You better hope this rescues it, but I don't think it's going to do shit. Extremely exciting because they are confident that they will deliver the best, uh, the biggest influencers to us, and AFV3 is strongest utility, and game theory is no brainer. Uh, check out my tweet about BTC. This is one of the many ways maximalists were wrong. The altcoin space does not weaken BTC. Yeah, I mean, the altcoin space does because if it wasn't for all these shit coins in this space, well, everybody would be into Bitcoin. I mean, that's just what it is. All right, so we're down for the past day and uh, slightly up for the past week uh, with 28 cents to 30. You know, everybody's anticipating for this drip drop draw. Uh, let's look at Animal Farm. I guess in light of that announcement, it created this sort of pump, but yet it still didn't pump it back to where it was a week ago. All right, so it's like a dollar thirty less than a week ago. Uh, that's pigs. All right, that's the project that Tiwi was supposed to be rescued with was pigs, and it's pretty much flat for the past day here. And eh, for the more or less, it's four cents down for the week. So when we look at all that, um, I still think this is going to be trending down towards drip territory. Doesn't matter about these projects. Doesn't matter about anything. And overall, this is what speaks volumes right here. 34,727,000. Down even more, right? You lost 2 million from a week ago. So let me show you guys what happened a week ago. Let's see. Is it right here? Uh, where's it at? I gotta find it. Oh, it's over here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's the 36.4 a week ago. So with 36.4 a week ago, and then we're looking at today, all right, with um, where we're at on this thing, 34.7. We're down 2 million, and this thing is speaking volumes that people don't give a shit. And people are going to just continue to just get that liquidity back. That's what I call for. You better get that liquidity back because this thing is on its way down, and you don't want to get dragged down with it. You better get out while the getting's good. And that's the latest. Comment down below. Further delays. I'm just saying.